Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and in this video, I will go over the process to revert your RG405M, 505, or 405V to the stock OS. This can also be used to unbrick your device if it is having issues booting. Before we get started, I recommend that you remove any SD card from the device and back up any files on the internal memory that you don't want to lose. The first step is to download the Unbricker tool. I will have a link in the description to the Gamma OS GitHub where the links are for each device. After opening up this GitHub page, select the correct link for your device, wait for the page to load, and then start the download. 405M users will be taken to Black Seraph's Patreon where you will need to download each of these 13 zip files. After you have downloaded the Unbricker tool, you will need to unzip the file. 405M users will need to start the unzip process after selecting all 13 zip files. You can delete the zip file or files after unzipping them to keep it a little cleaner in here. We will need to install the Unisoc drivers, navigate to the drivers folder, and select the folder for the Windows version that you have. If you are currently running Windows 11, go ahead and use the Windows 10 folder. Find and then run the installer dpinst64.exe. Just hit next and finish. Once that is done, go back to where we unzipped all the files and run the one called upgrade-download.exe. This is the unbricking tool we will use to unbrick or revert back to the stock OS. Click the gear icon in the top left and it will open a file browser window. Navigate to where we extracted the unbricking files and open the firmware folder and select the .pack file. The name may be different than what you see here depending on what device you are using. When you select this file, the tool will start unpacking the firmware and may become unresponsive. You will see a progress bar at the bottom and it usually takes around five minutes to complete. You will know when it is done when you see this text on the screen that says pack it followed by your device name. At this point, press the play button at the top. Now connect your device to your computer with a USB cable and hold down the power button, the volume down button, and the back button, also known as the home or function button, all at the same time. Don't let go until you see a progress bar start in the unbreaking tool on your computer. Once you see that, you can go ahead and let go of all the buttons. Now this can take 10 minutes to complete, and you know it will be done when you see the message on the tool that says power off, finish, passed. When you see this, you can now unplug the USB cable and power on your device by holding the power button and the volume down button until you see the Ambernic logo. If you have unlocked your bootloader before, it will still be unlocked after this, and you can skip the unlocking step if you choose to go back to Gamma OS. It will take up to five minutes here to start. After you give it some time, you will be back to the stock OS, and this should have unbricked your device if you were having issues booting. In order to close out of the Unbricker tool, go ahead and hit the Stop button, then just exit out of the application, and you are all done. If you run into any issues or have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more content from Firex Techs, and as always, thank you for watching.